I legit cannot stop dropping things. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And today I have a declutter. I've already gone through my entire collection and I've just kind of put everything in this bin that I am decluttering. And I thought I would share it with you because I know I personally love watching these kinds of videos. And not everything is even in here because I've got too much stuff. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna go through are my lip products. I have quite a few that I am decluttering. So these are all of the lip products that I am decluttering. I have an Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Rapture. Dropping things. And this one, as you can tell, is kind of a, a done for. And I don't really wear this shade that often anyways. And this is getting a little old. So it just needs to go. It just needs to. This next one is from e.l.f. and there's nothing wrong with this one. It's one of their like stick lipsticks, but it's just a case of, I just dropped something. I never wear this. I just dropped a lipstick. Oops. So the next one is from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this one, do you have a shade? Do you? Do you have a name? Hmm. Melon it like it is. Okay. But uh, <laughs> this cushion is so weird. Like it looks like a boob. <laughs> Do you see it? Like what is this? So first off, this is super awkward to apply. And once I did get it on, I was like, okay, the color is not that bad. But I just, I can't stand this. And I think you actually can take this off, but then you're left with like a little poop. And it's like, what, what am I gonna do with that? So I just don't really like these. If they had this shade in a different formula, I would probably like it. Now I can't close it. But yeah, not for me. The next one I have somebody gave me, it's from the Beauty Crop, and it's one of their matte liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade. I'm a boss and it looked like a shade that I would love because it is this very deep red shade. But oh my Lanta, this was drying. Oh, Lanta. Seriously, I thought my lips were gonna fall off. Mm -mm, no thank you. No. Uh, the next one I have is also from Urban Decay and this is one of their Vice lipsticks in the shade Crisis. And this is just another shade that I just never wear. It's just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a really pretty pink shade, but I just tend to wear reds. Don't really wear pink, so I just know that like my sisters would like that more than me. Next one I have is a lip gloss. This is from Luna, Luna by Luna. And uh, this is in the shade Tatiana, Tatiana, I don't know, maybe. But it is like, it's so confusing. Can you even tell what this is? Like, if I swatch it, can you see? This is the weirdest shade I have ever seen. And I don't know. At first when I saw it, I was like, oh, it looks really pretty, but it has um, a lot of glitter in it and I just don't like glitter on my lips. No, thank you. And the next one is from Ulta. It's one of their matte lip creams. And this gave me the same problem as the Beauty Crop one where it's just really, really drying. And it was really patchy when I applied it. And I'm just not a fan. Nope. Next one is from ColourPop. And this is one of their blotted lipsticks that was part of the Alexis Ren collection. And this is in the shade Lexi. I don't even have the other two anymore. I think I gave them to my sister. And there's nothing wrong with these. It's just they're really sheer. I'll show you. That's it right there. So you can see it's really sheer. I mean, it's a pretty color, but when I wear lipstick, I want it to be like a statement. I'm definitely not a sheer lipstick person. I just want very opaque statement lipstick. Cause I love lipstick. The last two that I have are from Milani and these are their matte lip creams. And I got the shades Devotion, which is number 14 and number 19 covet and 
I do not like. They were very, very drying. These, oh my gosh. I'm so disappointed because the color is so pretty, but they just, they also don't last a long time. It's very weird. Like they're so drying, but at the same time, I would see just parts of it flaking off. And it happened with both of them. So I don't know if like certain shades do that and some don't, but both of these did that to me. And no. Getting into some face products. I have a primer mist from e.l.f. This is one of their newer products. And I don't like this purely because of how it sprays. Let's see if you can see this. Can you see that? Uh, uh, no, get away from me. But uh, this is like on your face, like too much hydration. Like it's not a fine mist. I don't like it. No, thank you. The next one is also from e.l.f. This is their makeup mist and set. And I've actually used a good amount of this. I don't know if you can see because it, it is a clear fluid. I'm about halfway through it, maybe a little bit more than halfway, but um, I honestly just never use this and I have other mists that I like better and I feel like this has probably been sitting there too long. Like the lettering's already come off. Yeah. I have two foundations from Ulta. I bought these during their 21 Days of Beauty sale and I did their like color match thing that they have online. But these were too dark, and these are like the lightest shades. I have the Demi, Demi, what? The Demi Matte, Demi, Demi, is that the right word? I have a matte one, and then a, this one's a primer and foundation. Okay, I think out of the two, I actually liked this one more than this one when it came to formula wise because this one just felt patchy to me. Uh, but I can't find my shade. Common problem. The next one just shouldn't, shouldn't surprise you if you've seen my video about this product. It's the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. And I did an entire video on this, so I will link it in the thingamajigger. But this did not work for me at all. It just clung to dry patches and I just hated it. And I even joked like, oh, maybe I can use it as a concealer. But even as a, if I try to use that as a concealer, it just sticks to dry patches. So, no. And I'm disappointed because it was... By the way, I probably have so much e.l.f. stuff because I buy from them quite frequently because they are on the more affordable side. So, I'm not saying their products are bad. It's just I try a lot of them, if that makes sense. But these are two of their blushes. I believe one of these I got in like a promo code thing they have. So this one is just super sparkly. It's in the shade Berry Mary. And then I have Mellow Mauve, which is a pretty color, but I just never, never use it. Oh no, no. So I was just trying to get rid of things that I don't ever really use because I definitely have what I need. <laughs> The next one is from Milani, and it is a baked blush in Bella Bellini. Bellini? Maybe? 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 But um, there's, this is actually really pretty, to be honest. Um, I'll even swatch it for you. Uh, I'm running out of room. It's the very bottom one there. Don't know if you can suck. It's the very bottom one. But uh, it is really pretty. Like Even as I'm looking at it now, I'm like, oh, maybe. But I just never use it. So it's not a bad product by any means. I just never reach for it. It's just not the kind of blush I would go for. I did pick up another one of their shades today when I was at CVS, so what do you want to see? Elf product. I'm gonna feel so bad now every time I say elf. It's a baked highlighter and blush in rose gold. And this is just another case of I never reach for it. The highlighter is actually really pretty, but I don't really care for the blush. So that's my main reason for uh, decluttering this because if I have something that has multiple things in it and I only use one like I'm never gonna reach for it honestly <laughs> the next one is also from Milani it's their illuminating face powder and this looks so pretty you see those little roses it looks so pretty and this one is in the shade 03 and I had been wanting to try this for a really long time and I've tried this now multiple times and I just I don't like it I don't know I don't know what it is about it 
And the next one is by Catrice Cosmetics and it's our highlighting powder. And this was just, it's a good product, but it's not blinding enough for highlight for me. And I would tell myself like, oh, I'll wear it on days where I don't really want that much of a blinding highlight. Um, I'm lying to myself because I pretty much always like a blinding highlight. So I just think somebody would get better use out of that than me. The next one I have is from Urban Decay and it's their blush in Rapture, which again is really pretty, but I think it's just a tad too dark for my skin tone and I never reach for it. I have another one of these that I really like. I like the formula of this. I think I bought this when it was on sale. They were on sale a while ago. The next one I have is a Mana Kadar Beauty bronzer and highlighter. It's like a little mini thing. And you can see I've, I've really dug into this. I've really tried to use this, but I just don't like how tiny this is. It's really hard to get in there and actually use the product. And I like the highlight, but the bronzer isn't quite my cup of tea. So, think gonna toss it next one I have I actually have no idea how to pronounce this brand name I found it when I was at Earth's Origins in Florida and this is a translucent powder and it just has the weirdest smell like I don't know <laughs> and at first I was like maybe that smell will go away once I actually apply it no my face smelled all day and this is literally all I could smell so The next one I have is from Kat Von D and I got this when it was on sale. It's one of her blushes and this is just too bright for me personally. You can see it. it's a very very bright pink. It feels really creamy and it's it's a pretty shade. I don't know if you can see this. Oh the ha. But it is pretty. I just know I will never wear this. I just don't wear really bright blushes like this and just think somebody will get better use out of it than me because it has literally just been sitting in my drawer since I got it. I also have this one from Urban Decay. It's in Fair Neutral. It's their Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. And I don't know, wow, just blinding you. I don't know what it is about this that makes me not like it because it feels fine, you know, when I am actually swatching it and it does match my skin tone. I just don't really like how it looks on my face. It makes me look kind of cakey. And I do have dry skin and it doesn't really stick to dry patches. It just makes me look cakey. I don't know if that makes any sense. And it doesn't do it all the time either. So it might honestly be like my primer or the foundation I'm wearing. I don't know. But even when I wear Urban Decay's foundation, it does it to me. And I just <laughs> never reach for it for that reason because I don't know when it's going to cake on me. This next one is from Tarte. It's a Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle. And it is a highlighter and bronzer duo. And this, I really like the highlighter, but I just don't like the bronzer at all. I'm actually going to see if I can take out the highlighter and just put it in a little magnetic palette or something. But the bronzer is gray toned and I don't personally like that. That just doesn't look good on me. So it does smell really good though. I will give it that. It smells like chocolate. The next one is from Vintage by Jessica. And this is an illuminating face highlighter set, which I cannot remember where I got this from. But it has two highlighters in here and they are pretty. It's just, I just never reach for them. And I'm, I was really trying in this declutter to just get rid of things that I never reach for. Like, what is the point of having them in my collection if I'm not gonna use them? Should know what I mean? The very last face product I have in here is by ColourPop. And this is the cream duo thingy. So these are actually creams. They're not pressed, it's a cream. So that. And they are really pretty. I do like this highlighter a lot, but it's again the case, I don't like ColourPop's blushes. I just don't like cream blushes in general, to be honest, by anybody. It's not just ColourPop. So, you know, the highlighter is pretty, but I have other highlighters like it, and I never reach for it, so. So that's it for face. Moving on to eye products. I have two things 
from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the Dip Brow Pomade and the Brow, is this a Brow Wiz? Yeah, Brow Wiz. And these are in the shades Caramel, which it says it's for reddish blonde hair. Look how dark this is. Look how dark. No, I actually put this on in a video the other day. It was my finds and flops and I was like, oh my gosh, my eyebrows look hell of a lot darker than they normally do and I didn't, I didn't like it. I almost wanted to refilm it. Today I don't have anything on my eyebrows. BT dubs didn't feel like it because I spent half an hour doing my wings, which I don't normally do, and they don't match anyways. But after fooling around with that, I didn't want to mess with my eyebrows, so my eyebrows look different today, that's why. But yeah, uh, these don't match my hair at all, which I've kind of come to the conclusion at this point that they don't really have anything for redheads. What I usually use is from ColourPop, which is less expensive than Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I got Arched Auburn was the shade, and it's still darker than my hair, but it matches a little bit better. So this one was a fake awake eyeliner that you're meant to put in your waterline, and it's just a white eyeliner. And I think this was a dollar, and it even has a built-in sharpener. Can you see that? Which is pretty snazzy, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't know, this just wouldn't last on me for that long. So I would never reach for it just because of that. But I think that's a good idea to have a white eyeliner. I normally put uh, ColourPop's Dirty Talk in my waterline. That's kind of my favorite thing to do. Today I actually have black in my waterline, which I almost never do. It's just mixing it up today. So another one I have from e.l.f. This is one of their new products. It's a Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow in Rose All Day. And I liked these two shades a lot. These two. But this purple shade, it's not very pigmented, it was very patchy. And I have other shades like the other two already. So I just don't think I would ever reach for it. And I have tried it out quite a few times. The next one kills me to part with because it is so pretty. It's an e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palette. And like, look how pretty these are. There's nothing wrong with these, they are super pretty. They're really creamy, really pigmented, and I like it. It's just I never reach for it because I have other shimmers that I use more often. So I would say if you do like shimmers, this is a good palette. It's just I have too many and I'm trying to get rid of them. The next one I have is from Urban Decay and it's one of their build your own things. This was the Nirvana one they came out with, which I think they discontinued. Might actually keep the case, but um, these eyeshadows, I know this one is called Mushroom and then the black one is called Blackout. I'm not sure what the white one is called. Main reason why I, am, I kept this around for as long as I did was because of the shade Mushroom. I just thought this was such a cool color and it is, but I have two or three other ones that look like it and it's not a shade that I reach for all that much so I don't really need that many of it and I do have other black and white eyeshadows as well so just didn't think it was unique enough to keep. And then the very last thing I have in here, this is a Z palette that somebody gave me. Yeah, they got it in their boxy charm, and I just kind of put a variety of things in here. This has some Makeup Geek, some ColourPop. Uh, I think these are Vanessa's Vanity from Etsy. So that's really all I have for you guys today. If you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye.